Hello there, this is Michelle Nye and Kiki bringing you your individual astrology for December. Now this month, even though it's cold outside, depending on where you are in the world, we have a steaming hot month, and that's because we have two grand fire trines. Also, we have Uranus, the Lord of Unpredictability, going direct. So expect the unexpected. Sagittarius! Make the most of the beginning of December because it's all about you. There's a lot going on, a lot of opportunity for you to change direction and to make things happen. And not only that, for things to drop out the sky that can take you to places you could only ever dream of. But if you don't take advantage of that energy, it's not going to manifest. So you really have to be on it. And you really have to know this is my chance now to lead my energy towards the end of the year and gallop on those little lower half horsey legs of yours to the finishing line. Firstly, we have Mars shifting signs and it's making you very vocal. This is great news. On the one hand, you're really speaking with great passion about what you feel. But on the other hand, you might find yourself being a little bit argumentative or putting your hoof in your mouth. You know, Sagittarians are famous for being blunt and beautifully truthful creatures, but sometimes you need to sugar the pill. The other good news is we have a grand fire trine and you are caught up in the fabulousness of that and something unexpected and divine and delicious should be coming your way. And you're feeling that you've got your vim and vigor back. You're ready to go for it. And you're able to go, I am stretching my horizons and I'm gonna make the most of this moment. Being in the moment and actually being aware that this moment is all that we have is obviously one of the greatest spiritual teachings. And if you grab this moment with that grand fire trine and you really experience and immerse yourself in the moment, you will be able to achieve something extraordinary. So really, really pay attention for the signs and the symbols which are leading to you to exactly where you want to go. Well, actually, not even that. It might even take you somewhere you weren't expecting to go that turns out even better than where you wanted to go. There is a full moon in your position of relationships this month and you are opening up to your intuition about relationships. You might get quite emotional and quite soppy. You might hear a song on the radio that reminds you of love or suddenly reminds you of someone that you didn't even know you were attracted to. There is magic and mystery when it comes to love. The other big news of this month is that Jupiter is going retrograde. Now this is a big deal for you and it's going retrograde in your position of adventure and a very familiar energy to you. So you may feel as if you're a bit disconcerted because everything's being pulled backwards. Things that maybe you've given up on come back round. You have to go back, you have to do an audit on your life, on your spirit, on your habits on whether you learnt and grew and evolved in all the ways that you should have done. Possibly you're just thinking about it in the past year, but it could even be a situation comes up again that happened years ago. But it's very, very important that you go back and you really look at what the message of that is for you. The good news though is that Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, is going direct, is going forward and bringing you some joy, happiness, flirtation and lovely things like that. Unexpected pleasure is coming your way, which you're going to need because the other stuff that's happening is Venus is shifting signs, there's a new moon and a five planet stellium in your position of security. There's a part of you really reflecting on what makes you feel secure and there's a part of you thinking, I need to change my views on security. But that security has to come from within you and you're looking at it closely. Within this, there's a great opportunity to make money. There's a great opportunity to build up your career. There's a great opportunity to lay solid foundations and have a new beginning that makes you feel much more structured and solid in the world. Now, I've left the biggest news till last, and that is that Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility and Restriction, is shifting signs. And this energy is gonna last for a couple of years. There is a six month break in between, but you're gonna get a taste of what it means to you because Saturn is in your sign. 
it's going to be moving into your sign. So that means you're going to have to confront yourself and your life. And, and it's really, it's like the, the strict father. It's teaching you that it's time to grow up in some way. Whether you're 103 or wh whether you're 15, this is a big learning curve. It's the strict paternal ruler. And it's, if you make a mistake or if you try to go off piste and you try to do something that you know isn't right or you know is not morally right for you or it is just something that lacks responsibility, boom, Saturn will come down on you. But if you have worked very hard on yourself and you've put the work in and you've, you've changed things, you will get a big reward over the next couple of years and something solid is coming into your life. Now, next year, there's some extraordinary astrology. I'm bringing that to you real soon. So do come back and check it out. And wow, you know, there's lots going on. I send you much love. Have a fabulous December and I'll speak to you soon. I've got loads more free astrology on my website and lots of other free readings. www.com michellenight.com. I'll see you there.